Experiences of the COVID-19 pandemic. WSU Everett students speak out. My husband got put on standby. My internship got put on hold. And I'm really worried about my father who's 72. Everett Washington Ground Zero, the first coronavirus case in the United States. Washington State University has now been shut down and we've been ordered to do classes online. I wonder how serious this is and will it affect graduation? So hey everybody, I normally get off of work after a six hour day, I'm now doing tens. If you look, there's literally no one on a Friday off of 4th and Kine, one of the busiest areas in Seattle where the shooting actually happened and there's literally not a person in sight. If you really walk around to any of the businesses in this area, they all have signs saying that they're closed or they're elbow bump only. I could literally make a slideshow of all of these signs of disclosures. It's pretty sad. So I'm very lucky that this pandemic hasn't affected my day-to-day -day life too much. I already work from home, so I'm pretty used to creating a schedule for myself and making sure things get done during the day. However, just being able to not leave the house has been really tough. I Hi, my name is Samantha D. Tavernier. COVID-19 has shown me how much of an introvert I am, and it really hasn't affected me at all. Hey guys, um, it's April 2nd, and my landlady just came down with severe flu-like symptoms. I feel lucky being able to help the community by writing newspaper articles and getting links to important social resources included in the city's response website. My stability has definitely changed since the virus. Multiple people in my household have been laid off from their jobs, so we're worried about how we're going to pay our bills for the next couple months. A few weeks ago, one of my family members tested positive for COVID-19. Since then, we've all been quarantined in our homes. Three of us have gotten sick and have since recovered. This has definitely been a scary experience for me and my family. My daughter is currently stuck in Nepal with my parents because of coronavirus-related travel restrictions, and I haven't seen her for a few months now. Thanks to technology, I still can talk to her every day over video chat. But I can't wait the travel restriction to be lifted so that I can meet her once again. It's been 25 days since I've been to school on campus. All of my classes have moved online due to the COVID-19 crisis. My son is now considered an essential worker at the distribution warehouse where he works. I worry about him every time he walks out the door. So I've just been trying to stay safe in my home, despite the fact that my dad is working on the front lines as a first responder. So I just hope that he stays healthy and that we can all stay healthy. I think the hardest part for me has been not knowing if I'm gonna see my grandparents again. Um, career work from home, school work from home. In more ways than one, life goes on.